this is 50 reasons why you should move to the Dominican Republic. I can tell you since I've been here. I've never been so aware of the love that still exists between humans coming from Canada. I was uh, disillusioned, maybe you could say, and thinking that, you know what, we don't treat each other well in Canada. That's just how it landed on me. But here, wow, I can only tell you how different it feels to get love from complete strangers. So, uh, the um, culture is significant here. The weather, obviously, the beaches, the snorkeling, the cost of living, and uh, the food. Wow. But Grok made me a uh, list. I asked for a hundred, but <laughs> apparently Grok was just repeating the first 50. So as a shortcut, <laughs> because I'm lazy, here is a list of 50 reasons why you should consider moving to the Dominican Republic. And if you have a little bit of real estate equity in North America, Consider cashing some of it in and bring it south to the majestic tropical location called Republica Dominicana. Dominicana? The Dominican Republic boasts a vibrant and diverse culture influenced by its rich history. The country is known for its stunning white sandy beaches with turquoise water. It's not everywhere, but in many cases, you can experience white sand. Tropical forests and mountains provide breathtaking natural scenery, and the average daytime air temperature is about 78.8 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 26 degrees Celsius, and the water temperature is about 80.6 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 27 degrees Celsius, providing a pleasant climate year round. There's many islands off the coast of Dominican Republic and other natural attractions that offer a Caribbean vibe, Caribbean or Caribbean, and unique experiences. The Dominican Republic is considered one of the safest countries in the Caribbean. The country ranks among the top 10 best economies in Latin America. Top 10, it's number one. Dominican Republic has the number one economy in Latin America. Maybe I'm wrong on that. But with tourism and free trade zones, earning earnings as the uh, fastest growing export sector. The service sector is the leading sphere in the Dominican Republic offering various employment opportunities. Living in the Dominican Republic is generally more affordable compared to most countries in Europe or the USA, certainly Canada. The country has a retirement program that may appeal to expats. It has a lower cost of living with an estimated monthly living cost for a family of four of around $2,200 USD without rent. That could be on the low high side. A little on the high side, but it depends on your standard of living, I suppose. The average monthly price to red rent a three-bedroom apartment in the Dominican Republic is about $1,200 in the city center and about four seventy five dollars outside of it. So rents are reasonable. <laughs> Less than half of my hometown, where I come from in St. Catharines, Ontario, Canada. The country has a strong cultural heritage with influences from the indigenous, Spanish colonizers and African slaves. It's the second largest Caribbean nation by area and has a population of just about 11 million people. The country is known for its production of sugar, coffee, and tobacco. And stop 
why the ads oh i guess i can't control the ads that come up here but i'm trying to give you a little bit of drone footage in the background so that it's not as boring as just hearing my voice it's a popular destination for tourists with attractions like bavaro beach and punta cana and resorts in puerto plata has a rich history with historical sites the Dominican Republic has well-developed tourism infrastructure and a, a, ri a wide range of accommodations, restaurants, and activities. The country is home to several national parks and protected areas, providing opportunities for outdoor activities like hiking and wildlife viewing. And if you're on the North Coast, don't forget windsurfing, kite surfing, snorkeling, and swimming. The Dominican Republic has a diverse and flavorful cuisine featuring dishes like Sancocho, Mofongo, and don't forget, Pollo Gazado. My favorite Dominican dish is chicken stew. Pollo Gazado with a little bit of uh, avocado. It has a lively music scene with genres like merengue, bachata, that all originated in the Dominican Republic. The Dominican Republic has a well-developed healthcare system, both with public and private options available, and you'll find that it's, there's no wait time down here. You can get an MRI for about 150 bucks, and it takes you longer to book the appointment than to actually get in there. You'll call them and they'll say, can you be here by 11 o'clock? <laughs> You call them at 9 and they say, yeah, can you be here for 11? It's unbelievable. No wait times. A strong expat community providing opportunities for networking and social connections. A relatively stable political environment with regular democratic elections. We just had an election here about two weeks ago. And the current prime minute, I'm sorry, president was re-elected. So his second term, because he's a North Coast guy, we... Envision that lots of money will flow towards infrastructure on the North Coast because he's from the North Coast. His family owns property here, and he seems to be a very popular president. It has a growing technology center sector with opportunities for entrepreneurs and professionals in the field. The country has a well-developed transportation infrastructure with highways, airports, and public transportation. If you take the guagua, guagua, it's an experience of a lifetime. So are the shared taxis. Really cool. But if you don't pay to have the passenger seat protected, it, some dudes will try and ride in your lap. <laughs> it's unbelievable. The Dominican Republic is a popular destination for retirees, especially Canadians, and lots of Americans too, but Canadians love this place. It offers a lower cost of living and a relaxed lifestyle. The country has a variety of housing options from apartments and condos to single family homes and villas. The Dominican Republic has a growing real estate market with opportunities for investment and property ownership. You can still get a one bedroom apartment in Caribe Campo for around $85,000 and one hundred and sixty two fifty for low uh, for um, monthly condo fees. The country has a well-developed banking system. Banco Santa Cruz is mine. They've treated me very well. They give you a debit card that also acts as a visa, prepaid visa if you have money in the bank. And I have a U.S. account, U.S. funds account, where I can do international wire transfers, and then a uh, sister account that's in Dominican pesos. So two different accounts. The Dominican Republic has a growing renewable energy sector with opportunities for investment and development. The country has a diverse range of natural attractions, waterfalls, caves, coral reefs. It has a rich cultural calendar. I love Independence Day down here. And the country has a variety of shopping options from local markets to modern shopping centers now i'm in sasua we don't this is small town dr the north coast is pretty much small town dr 
the major shopping centers are in Santiago, Santo Domingo, Punta Cana. You'll see even Puerto Plata, which is 20 minutes from here. You'll have a few big box stores like Humbo, Jumbo. The Dominican Republic has a growing wellness and spa industry, offering a range of treatments and services. The country has a well-established telecommunications infrastructure with reliable internet and mobile services. My internet is with Delancer. It's 2,200 pesos a month. And my mobile phone service is with Claro. Claro charges me 1,600 pesos per month. I get 100 international long-distance minutes to uh, North America, I guess, Canada and the U.S. And 10 gigs of data for what equates to about $30 USD per month. The Dominican Republic has a variety of entertainment options, including theaters, cinemas, and sporting events. Don't forget local music. That has a growing art and design scene with galleries, museums, and events showcasing local talent. Has a variety of volunteer and community service opportunities, allowing residents to give back to their new home and their hosts. You are a guest in this country. You should be grateful. The country has a variety of sports and fitness facilities, including gyms, yoga studios, and outdoor recreational areas. Has a well-developed de legal system with a mix of civil and common law traditions. Now, if you're a gringo, if you're white, if you're an expat, and you're taking a local to court, good luck for you. To good luck to you. Because although you may have the same rights, as, as a natural born citizen, as a local Dominican, it doesn't look that way when you end up in court normally. The country has a growing environmental conservation movement with organizations working to protect its natural resources. It has a variety of festivals and events celebrating its cultural heritage. The country has a number of co-working spaces and incubators providing support for entrepreneurs and remote workers. A well-developed agricultural sector with opportunities for investment and development. A variety of historical and cultural sites, including, well, there's so many to list. There's too many to list. A growing number of ecotourism initiatives, promoting sustainable travel and conservation efforts. Basically, the government stays out of your business when you're here. There's no visa requirements. There is an overstay fee. If you stay longer than 90 days, it's pretty reasonable. It's like a small fine. They charge you by the day, week, month, or year. And the policing system is quite unique down here. But I can tell you, when I get pulled over in Canada, my heart drops into my stomach. My pulse raises significantly when I get pulled over in Dominican Republic. I really have no worries. I know that all I'm doing is meeting a very nice man that probably I'm going to feel moved to buy lunch for. So there's 50 reasons or more why you should move to the Dominican Republic. And look at this scenery. Wow. Peace, love, hug your neighbor. And if you have a little bit of equity that's stranded in the North American real estate market, I would highly encourage you to consider cashing some of that equity in and moving it south to the tropics of Dominican Republic. Peace, love, hug your neighbor, and I'm out.